Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to the Hardcore Iron Man Collection Log Completionist series. The series where we complete a variety of collection log based challenges set by you guys in the comments. Currently we are determining what challenges we're going to be doing by spinning a wheel and then doing what the wheel tells us. On the topic of that wheel we are going to be making a new addition to it this episode and this comes from Jake and he said about adding a base level 40. Now we're currently um, you know, on our way to base 40s so that would be a nice way to round off our levels and jump up to that next kind of bracket so yeah thanks for that jake that will be going on the wheel and um yeah if we spin on it we've got some gaming to do on the topic of that as well when we get things like get base 40s or you know ultimately get base 50s etc etc that kind of spin will be a challenge that we can complete over one two three multiple episodes and it'll kind of be like a rolling thing that we're doing in the background i think that works quite nicely instead of us you know sitting down and knocking out a load of levels uh it's you know keeps things interesting and also we'll be able to like go and do quests and things like that so when we roll that we'll do sort of a you know a few hours of leveling roll again, see what we get, and then hopefully that will uh, help out with getting to those base levels. Let me know what you think about that, um, or if no, we must complete that challenge first before we can do anything else. Uh, but I do think we should be able to do quests when we're going for base levels, just because quests just speed things up a little bit. And also it means we start taking off quests and you know getting towards that lovely quest cape. And not necessarily a change, but a really good idea that Tacit the Terror has had um, they're currently working on the uh, Ring of Endurance with the old Hello to Polka uh, changes that have been made in the most recent update as of when I'm recording this, which is the 21st of the 6th. Um, once we've completed the Graceful set, that segment on the wheel will then be updated to Hello to Polka Uniques. So it means that we've kind of still got an agility section on the wheel uh, that we can push forward on. Uh, and I think uh, Hello to Polka is quite a nice transition from getting graceful onto something else. Sod Brimhaven uh, agility calls. No one likes that. No one cares about it. Even if they have, they can make all the changes in the world they want to that. Still going to be bad. So wiping that from everyone's brains right now, like Men in Black. Bring! It's gone. Hello to Polka will be the next level after graceful. Uh, and that's what this comment suggests. Well, recommends, and I really, really like it. But anyways, that's enough waffling. Here's how the stats are currently looking. They're not looking too bad, if you ask me. We've currently got 50 items on our collection log, and 45 quests completed, 68 com uh, achievement diaries, things <laughs> done, and we've got 17 combat tasks. Now, we're not really aimed towards getting combat tasks done. They've all been passive, which is quite nice. Quite nice, 17. It's not loads, but it's not none. Not none, all right? 70 combat at the moment, and uh, yeah, let's give the wheel a spin. Okay, right, first spin of the episode. Let's start off with a banger, shall we? You know what, I'm going to put on the beekeeper's hat for good luck. Um, let's get a good one. Come on. Come on, Will. Come on. All right, here we go. Give it a few clicks. Give it a few rotations. Come on, Will. What you got for us, mate? Five quests. Okay, that's good. That's good because I've actually been planning um, with feature in the uh, clan chat uh, to go and do um, Shield of Arav. Uh, we've agreed to do it together. So <laughs> that'll be one of the quests that we do. And we're going to go and have a little bit of a head scratch and work out what other ones we can do. All right, I've picked out my five. Uh, I think there's a nice mixture of stuff in there and some nice unlocks. There's one that I've mentioned in a couple of episodes, specifically around Guardians of the Rift. Uh, on what we need to get done. Um, the first one we're going to go and do is one that we probably should have done a little while ago, Vampire Slayer. I do want to get all of the uh, free-to-play quests completed at some point. But some of them are just a little bit shit, aren't they? They're just boring, uh, and they don't really give anything. So Vampire Slayer actually gives some attack XP. We could do with some at attack XP, to be honest. We need to start beefing up these uh, attack and strength so we can actually go and do... Um, the Defender Grind. I want to get that done fairly soonish i want to start beefing up the uh the gear setup so yeah let's get this quest done tell you what though there's always like a guy like this in your local pub who's banging on about slaying vampires or something but he's absolutely gone so you're like wow well, he's chatting a load of shit and he you never know 
there could really be vampires, and that local guy who's in the pub could could be there potentially to save our lives. He could, you know, he might be like Blade or something. Blade after one too many Fosters. <laughs> right, here we go. Let's open up this coffin, shall we? I'm not bothered bringing any armor. I mean, he's, I think he's like level 12 or something. I'm 34. Blimey. I've got protect from melee anyway. I'll, two shot. Three shot. Four shot. Use some garlic on him. Have a bit of that, mate. Oh, nothing happens. Sick. Bosh. See you later. There is Vampire Slayer done. Was that six hits or something? Three quest points, 4,825 XP in the attack skill. Got to 88 quest points now. Honestly, I thought it was about 1,000. So four times how much I expected. Can't complain with that. Um, takes us that little bit closer to 54 attack. But now let's go get cracking on with one of the other quests I've got lined up. You have to find out what that is in the next clip, aren't you? Just kidding. Next clip is this. If you're wondering what Dead Smith is up to, he's mining. Next up, we're going to be doing Elemental Workshop 2. Now, this quest is going to give us a load of crafting and smithing XP, which is going to be really nice. Hopefully, it catapults us forward so we can uh, be all good for, um, you know, some more quests in the future and also just progressing the account. You know what I mean? Um, so let's drop all of this crap. Read the beaten book again. Uh... All right, I think we just need the book. I don't think we need that. Or maybe, I'll, you know, I'll eat, I'll eat a fish. I'll eat a fish, take the scroll, off to uh, Camelot we go. I do wonder at some point if we're going to get like an Elemental Workshop 3 or something. Something crazy, you know? Something wild. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to drop some of this fish that I've got. Um, but hopefully we dump this coal off pretty quickly. Uh... No, no, I'm going to have to drop some of me fish. And here's the reason for the fish, the battle of a century. Oh, we've got to take on two Earth Elementals, I think. Can he do it? Can he do it? Oh, it, the suspense is, cr is killing me. It's crushing me. Oh, can he do it? Can he? Can he? Will he? Maybe. Who knows? I've taken five damage. Oh, no. Could this be the end of the hardcore? That is the god seven damage. Oh, look at that. We've got our elemental war. But I've got to kill another one. Oh, no. Ding, ding, ding. Round two. Can he do it? Oh, no. Is this the end? Could this possibly be the end of the hardcore? I guess I could pray protect from melee and we're absolutely safe. But the, the gripping, the gripping tale of not dead smithy versus the almighty rock golem. Is he going to do it? The rune scimitar is swinging. The rock golem is swinging. <laughs> Them mighty fists. And down he goes. Thank you for your elemental war, mate. I do remember doing this quest, actually. Now I'm doing it on the sort of iron main. Um, oh, no. Take cog. Wrong one. He's got a gun, that one. There we go. Yeah, it's not a bad little quest, this one. And... There's no combat, gives decent XP, and I put the cog on the wrong bloody thing again. All right, this bit's a bit finicky, isn't it? Take cog. Put it on that one. Yeah, look at us go. Oh, baby, these cogs are going to be turning. They are going to be turning. Oh, also, I accidentally made two of these crane claws, so I've got to go and kill another one of those. <laughs> Another one of those uh, rock golems. <laughs> the hardcore is at risk yet again. Do you what? Bars are back on the menu. Look at that. We've turned it. <laughs> we've, we've cooked it. It's now uh, <laughs> deep fat fried <laughs> in some lava. Ah, lovely. Can I take it from here? Or do I need to, pull? Oh, I need to pull the lever again? Is it going to go back up? No, good. <laughs> right. We've got ourselves some primed bars. Oh, no. Prime? Has Jagex teamed up with old KSI and Mr. Paul, are they? Right, anyway, let's open the mine door. And use that on there. Oh, I remember this bit. Yeah, look, we're going to get ourselves a brain tickle. <laughs> there you go. From the extractor gun. Primed mind bar. 
Because you're always on my mind. All right, let's use this on here. And I think this could be job done. Yeah, there we go. That is a medium task as well for the Candor in Diary. Very nice. One quest point, 7,500 craft and XP. 7,500 smithing XP. The ab ability to make mind equipment. 89 quest points and 37 smithing. Can I make still four helms and still throwing knives? 47 crafting, we can now make snakeskin van braces. Wow. And also, we've got a fetching new hat. Look at that. Oh, it even makes little... Look. Whew. That's sick. All right, next quest we're going to do is Troll Stronghold. With this, I believe it unlocks us the, the ability for us to make law runes. So, it's going to be a big quest for when we're doing uh, Guardians of the Rift, because we can actually go and make, you know, another um, catalytic rune. Um, but also start being a bit more self-sufficient, making our own law runes and all of that good stuff. Uh, but anyway, there are a couple of bosses that we need to fight in this, so the hardcore is at risk yet again. Right, it looks like we can safe spot Dad literally as we walk in. So hopefully that uh, big old tree trunk of his, get your mind out the gutter, um, won't do any damage to us. Uh I'll see you when we're killing him. All right, a couple more hits. Ah, oh, there we go. Thank you very much, Dad. Appreciate sure he's going to hit us. No. We've installed the fear of God in him. <laughs> All right, the next kind of boss fight in inverted commas, the troll general. Idiot. He doesn't know that he can just walk around a wall. Idiot. All right, I reckon this is going to do it. Yeah, see you later, mate. Give us your coins, give us your key, give us your bones, going to bury them, and now we're going to go and free prisoners, and I think that is it. I do love how we're using his sleeping mate to kill him. <laughs> Literally using this uh, lad here. He's, having, he's, he's, he's none the wiser, while his mate's being absolutely butchered. He's being used as a safe spot. All right, there we go. Oh, he's dropped some more coins. Payday, boy. It's a payday. And we're free Godric as well. Right, let's go and finish off this quest. All right, let's finish off this quest, shall we? And there we go. One quest point and a lore talisman. But now we can start making lore runes, which is, like I said, huge for Guardians of the Rift. And also huge for the not dead boy, um, because we can now make law runes ourselves. But 90 quest points now. We've done three, two to go. One of them's quite a big one. It's, it, dare I say, we're going to become the masters of free to play. All right, so our next quest is one of the uh, the big boy, well, the big boy, um, free to play quest, and that is Dragon Slayer. I want to get it done. I want to defeat Elvarg. Start Dragon Slayer one. Here we go. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's uh, let's get it done, shall we? Let's bloody get it done. Does this count as like a grandmaster or anything? I don't think it does, does it? But anyway, I want to get it done. Let's get it done. We're gonna get it done. Dibbity dubbity dibbity done. It's going to get done. Right, we're working our way through. Speak to Oracle and then we go downstairs and do the whole door thing and get the first piece. But, yeah. <laughs> it's funny, when you've done like a quest maybe about ten times or whatever and you come to do it again, half the, half, half, half the things in quest is just going and gathering information. You should be able to just skip all that shit if you already know it. I know it's like, oh, but your character doesn't, but I do. Why have I got to do the same shit ten times? Just let me skip it and get to the good bit. All right, let's not mess this up. So, silk, lobster pot, on fire bowl, wizard mines bomb. I thought I'd drunk it then. I was like, how have I drunk it? I've swapped what it does. <laughs> I was like, how have I managed to mess that up? But anyway, um, blah, 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 blah. Search. There is our first piece of the map. Right, let's uh, send Worm Brain back to Lumbridge and get our next bit of the map. Here we go. Nice. All right, into the madhouse we go. And there's a 
very spooky lesser demon. I think it's a lesser or greater demon that we have to kill at some point. But yeah, I think we, we, we can safe spot it, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh yeah, we also have to take out Melzar as well. Um, using melee, is it? Oh no, 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 no. <laughs> why instead of attacking me, do you just spawn in cabbages? Maybe that's why he's called Melzar the Mad. <laughs> his defense is ah cabbage and everyone's like oh god not a cabbage <laughs> starts gagging but here is the spooky bit we've got to get this lesser demon trapped somewhere is it here oh fuck there we go, there's the safe spot. Oh, easy peasy. Right, see you later, Lesser Demon. Let's quickly grab that key before he respawns. Key, and open up here. There we go. And open sesame. There is the last bit of the maze. Maze, map. Last bit of the map. Let's quickly grab the shield. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, man, I clicked off of it. No, we've got to go through the three screens of dialogue. I've already been through. Yep, 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 yep. Come on, give us a shield. Give us a shield. Yep, cool, cool, yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yep, yep, absolutely. Nice one. There we go. Anti-Dragon Shield. Anti-Dragon Shield? Yeah, Anti-Dragon Shield obtained. All right, there you go. There's the map assembled. Look at that ominous dragon face. <laughs> Just casually strolling through Port Sarum. You know I made a reference to a, a certain kids TV show a few episodes ago. 64, 64, 64, Zoo Lane. But anyways, let's buy this boat and fix it up, shall we? All right, there we go. I'd like to buy a... So, sounds good. Nice one. We now are the proud owner of a boat and the sailing skill. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, anyway, let's repair this. Dum dum dum. Dum dum dum. And dum dum dum. Nice. Uh, now let's go to Ned and get him to be our captain. Right, there we go. We've given the uh, the map to Ned. I need to say the Ned to map then. Uh, so he's agreed to be our captain. So now we just got to gear up. And get over to Crandor and then slay a dragon. Right, let's do this thing, shall we? Oh, it's getting a little bit stormy. It's getting a little bit stormy. Oh, what was that? What was that? <sighs> this is why we can't have nice things. Bloody dragons. Oh, no. Not our boy. My boy. My boy. Anyway, let's go and slay the dragon. Get some revenge. Oh, oh, there she is. Level 83. Oh, oh don't get nervous, but I'm feeling a little bit. Oh, nah, this is going to be a piece, a piece of piss. Let's get in there, shall we? Do your worst, Elvog. Do your worst, mate. Go on, let's get at it. Boom. All right, now we uh, sit here for half hour as 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 we slowly <laughs> swish and flick that. Oh gosh, he's actually hitting. Oh god! All right, damn, Elvar got hands. Elvar got hands. I thought this was gonna be chill. I thought it was going to be chill. I thought we were going to come in here. Couple of hits. Boom, boom, boom. Dead. No, I think I'm, 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 I'm fully risking the hardcore. Right, there we go. Big hit, a 10. See if that's only on max hit, a 10. Shambolic. All right, come on. Get a hit in. Get a hit in. Come on. Boom. Yes, there we go. Let's get the prayer back up. Come on, 32 hit points. We just need three tens and a two. There's the th there's a three. There's a nine. Come on. Two more nice hits, please. Boom. Yes. 
Geh mal um. Finish. Finish your dinner. Finish your dinner. Oh, come on, finish it. You've still got your broccoli left. Oh, he's eating his broccoli. He's finished his dinner. And he's only gone and defeated the dragon. Oh, glorious scenes. Glorious scenes. Let's take some screenshots of, screenshots of us lifting up the head. Yes. Yes. Let's throw some yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, spin, 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 spin. Headbang, headbang, headbang. Yeah. All right, here we go. Let's turn it in. Let's talk to him. Slayed that dragon? Yes, I have. Here's the head. And there we go. There is Dragon Slayer 1 done. Uh, two quest points, 18,650 strength XP and defense XP, the ability to equip room plate bodies and uh, dragon hide bodies as well. 92 quest points we're on now. Can I buy a room plate body, please? Boom. Oh, it is glorious. 51 strength, 71 combat, and that is everything. Oh, man. Feels so good. Feels so good. I mean, we're not going to be wearing the room plate body very long because we've got the Guthans body. Uh, but we still need 70 defense, so I'm going to go and work on that while I uh, wait for something for the last quest that we're going to be doing. Um, yeah, so going to go and camp up at some sand crabs while, you guessed it, he's still mining. All right, we're working towards 70 defense at the moment. And uh, if we hit a couple more times... All right, one more time. All right, one more time. <laughs> yeah, there we go. There's 66, four to go. Hey, there's a nice level coming in. 60 hit points. Dare I say it, a nice round number. Oh, it's another level coming in. Hold on, hold on, hold on. There we go. There is 67 defense coming in. Nice. All right, a quick pause from the sand crabs. Let's go and get Shield of Arav done. Um, yep, start Shield of Arav. And for reference later, so I can refer back to this, I'm doing the black arm gang side of it. So when I need to do whatever the quest is later down the line, when you need to remember what one you are, a black arm. So if I forget, someone remind me. <laughs> right, we're doing the exchange. <laughs> Feature's got the goods, aka the key I need. <laughs> a little bit of crime, never hurt anyone anyway. Right, I'll BRB. Right, let's go and get that shield off. All right, let's grab... Oh, no. <laughs> Search, there you go. Search. All right, let's go back to the creator or curator in the Varrock Museum. And I think that'll be job done. Here he is, here he is. <laughs> All right, we just need to get our certificates. And there we go. Do, 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 do. I think we just use it on feature. I think. Take. How do I? How do I drop it? Uh, use. There you go. <laughs> right. I think that is job done. Did he get it? I hope he got it. If not, awkward. <laughs> I don't want to finish the quest and he's not got it. <laughs> right, sound. Um, use certificates together. Boom, boom. There we go. Makes that dream work. If I can spell. Right, let's go and take this to the king. And that'll be quest done. All right, let's go in here. Open the door. Talk to Kim Rold. Blah, blah, blah. And there we go. One quest point, 600 uh, coins. We're up to 93 now. And that is five quests completed. I'm going to pop to the museum because I think we can get an XP lamp for doing that quest as well. Hey, look at that. Two gamers gaming. <laughs> uh, right, I think if we speak to the historian, I know I'll definitely get one for Dragon Slayer, but let's spam for all of this. Oh, yep, there we go. Only half, blah, blah, blah. There's an XP lamp, and I think I've got one more for him. Uh, no, you don't get one for Dragon Slayer, but anyway, rub it. 
put it on herb law boom a thousand xp and that should be a level as well yeah 30 herb law very very nice oh and we're uh 11 25 total now hey i missed the pop-up but there's 68 defense and also 72 combat with uh when we got 61 hit points so we're moving up in the world Two more levels to go. And there is 69 defense. Right, a couple more hits. Come on. All right, one more hit maybe. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. There is 70 defense, which means we can now equip the melee barrows items, which is huge. Like, huge for the account. It means that we've got a couple of items already in the, uh, in the uh, bank that we can use that we've already got on the log. Uh, the Verax skirt, I think, is one, and the Guthans helm, or is it the Verax helm? I don't know. We've got a few items at Barrows. Actually, I'm going to have a quick look. I can't load up my log at the moment because we're still in combat. Uh, where are we? Barrows, Barrows, Barrows. All right, so we've got the Guthans plate body, the Verax full helm, the Guthans helm, and the Carol skirt. Obviously, we need 70 range for the skirt but everything else we can now wear, which is huge. And anyways, that is going to do it for this week's episode. I've done a little bit more at the Sand Crabs. We're up to 57 attacks, 55 strength, and obviously 70 defense, 63 hit points too, which is rather nice. Um, but yeah, we're moving in and grooving in the right direction, as always. Um, big quest week this week, getting those five uh, quests done with the big one in there being Dragon Slayer. And I apologize that we've only done one spin this week. Uh, but I've been pretty busy outside of RuneScape. Um, and also, you know, we, we got we got quite a lot of stuff covered. I wanted to get 70 defense done and dusted this week um, so we can now go and wear bar barrows. You know what, actually, before we do anything, uh, well, before we wrap up, I'm going to go and put my barrows so we can see what we've got. And, uh, yeah, I just want to put it on, to be honest. All right, so Guthans plate body, let's get that on. Yeah, look at that beer gut. you love to see it. Um... Now, what's better, the Verax Helm or the Guthans Helm? So you get better range defense on your Guthans. Whenever I see the Guthans Helm, I always think of um, Dead Man Mode because you see people running around with Guthans Helms and it looks scary. Uh, but I think I prefer the Verax Helm. You don't get the prayer bonus on the Guthans Helm. Uh, but obviously, if we got the set, we would be able to use the, uh, the healing factor of the set. But we are looking rather menacing and we are looking pretty scary. It's a bad day to be a goblin right now. Um, be good if we could get some tank legs, but yeah. Obviously, I do have the Addy Kite Shield as well, but I've obviously got the dragon, dragon, Andy Dragon Shield on at the moment. I forgot to get that out of the bank. Uh, but we are looking rather tanky. Look at those stats. you love to see it. Um, I do want to get that Rune Scimitar upgraded, though. It's uh, it's done as well, but it could be, it could, could be something better, couldn't it? But anyways... That is the end of the episode now. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing. Uh, half the people watching these videos aren't subscribed. So if you want to help out the channel and also get notified of when all the videos go up, hit that subscribe button. It's free. Not much is free in life these days. Uh, and uh, help out the channel as well by dropping a like. And let me know what you're working on right now on your accounts. Drop that in the comments. And if you've got any challenges or some specific challenge episodes, because I'd like to start doing episodes where I'm not using the wheel. We just set a challenge that we need to do for that week. Um, I'd love to hear that in the comments. I'm thinking maybe around uh, doing something around ba uh, barrows would be cool. I keep going to say bandos because I'm doing that on the main. Barrows. Definitely not bandos. <laughs> um, I'd love to hear it in the comment section. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much for watching again. Shout out to all of our channel members of Uncut Gameplay, Steve, Superbeef, Maid, AJ, Helena, Thamescape, Rayleigh, Chair, Raw, Johnny, Heathen, Celestine, Snotbones, Emma, Angry Mountain Gorilla, and Joshua. Much appreciated for continued support for the membership program. If you want to get involved with that and get yourself a shout out every video, join button down below. But anyway, I'm going to stop waffling and stop saying but anyway. Uh, and I'll see you all very soon with a brand new video. Stay safe and goodbye.